Testing. There we go. So I don't know if any of you heard me, but hey everyone, my name is Vil here at Science Her Way. And welcome back to my universe. So I finally have the lash hook tool that you need. Because if you don't know what I'm talking about, last stream we tried to do the latch hook kit, but the tool that you need was not included and I didn't realize that. Neither did my parents when I got it for Christmas, because right here, it says in, in small black letters, you know, look how big this thing is, and then look down here, it says, latch hook tool not included. So, none of us saw that, so we, me, my mom, and my brother today, went and got the tool, and we almost didn't find it, because they only had two, two, two tools there. So it was either this one or a wooden handle, I thought this one would be nice, so. Yeah, and I've never done this before, so it's still my first one, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I did watch the video, so we should be good to go. Just get up a little. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this out. I'm gonna take this out before stream, but I kind of forgot, so. Now the tricky part, how do I open said thing? Here we go. But yeah, how are y'all doing? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Here we go. And where's my trash can? Trash can's over here. There we go. So if you see me leaning over this way, it's because my computer is over, well, one of my computers is over here and the chat is on there. So I may lean over there to type the chat or read chat. So yeah, and let's put it on the trash. Ooh, okay, this is cool. All right. I'm just gonna move this. It's in my way. I need space. So this is pretty cool. And I think this fits my hand. Uh, I remember Chris guy yesterday said there's different handle sizes, but there's only two. And the other one was just a little bigger, but I think this one fits my hand better. So yeah. And of course the story went to they moved everything again. So we had to find where it was. But okay, so we're gonna take everything out again. <laughs> take this out. To take our string. We have a lot of string. I'm going off camera, you can't see. <laughs> Let's move this. Mm, right there is good. And we have a lot. So I plan to stream all day. It's only 12 right now. So like I said, I do plan to stream all day, but I may have to stop and eat lunch. Cause I did eat breakfast, but I mean, it was only a muffin. It was just one, but we'll see. And move the box over there. Sorry if you heard that, but it's okay. So, and also I'm wearing my Octo my Galaxy Octopus hoodie. Yay! So, and my sleeves are very long, so I may have to roll up my sleeves occasionally. Because <laughs> it goes past my hand, so, yep. Alright, so I'm afraid to break this because it's really, if you can see the resistance, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. So, we're just going to read the instructions first. Get my tool, I put it off to the side. You need a latch hook tool, purchased separately, apparently. Yeah. Um, each one of your own contains all the colors and the same number of pieces. So these right here. And if you, didn't, if you couldn't tell, we are making a hummingbird, which was on the box. I, I discarded it, so, oh well. Uh, each bundle of yarn contains all the colors and the same number of pieces. Some colors in the bundles may be similar. Separate the yarn by color so it's easy to pick up each pick up single pieces of the correct color. So we are gonna separate the color. Hmm. So I'll be doing that on stream, but it should be fun. It's really soft, it's still like carpet, but yeah. The canvas colors correspond to the yarn colors. Okay, this looks blue. I don't have that shade. I may have to look at the box right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the box again. I hit the table, sorry about that. So we're going to keep the box for reference. This is what it should look like at the end. If you can see that, right? So I am going to put it over here just so I can grab it, grab it and look at it every now and then. So let's see. The canvas colors correspond to the yarn colors. To make areas on the canvas distinct, the colors may not match the yarn. Before you start hooking, determine which yarn color to use on each canvas color. So I basically want to plan it out first. And then cover the edge of the canvas with masking tape. I don't know if I need that. Mm. 
Yeah, masking tape? I don't know what that is. Oh well. We'll see. Uh, when there are two colors on the canvas thread, choose the color that covers the most of the thread. Which makes sense. And they have a lot, so we may do a couple of latch hook kits so obviously maybe like once a month, which could be nice. How to latch hook. Oh good, I did watch a video, but since I didn't have latch hook, I didn't even bother looking at this stuff. So we're gonna step with the colors before we learn how to latch hook. I'm gonna read the back though. To finish the edge of the canvas, fold them to the back so no blank canvas shows on the front. Hand stitch the edges to the back with your own sewing thread. Ooh, hand stitch the edges. Once the edges are finished, you can add tabs to make it wall hanging or hand stitch it to a pillow. Hand stitch it to a pillow, that'd be cool. If you prefer to use purchased rug binding, you will need two yarns. yarns. Well, my parents have done a latch hook, so I'll ask them about the end part. But for now, off to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and start separating this. So I'm assuming, no, so I'm gonna need scissors. Oh no, wait, it's already started. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna separate this. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it has to be done. So I'm gonna move this off to the side over here. You may see a little bit of it. Also, can I just say I'm really proud of my setup? <laughs> like, you know, a lot of people say you, you shouldn't, uh, well, this isn't bragging, but I think more people need to, Say when they're happy about something or they're proud of themselves for doing something, you know? It shouldn't be where we always have to not say, hey, I'm proud of this. If you're proud of it, I think you should say it. So I am really proud of my setup because I have one of my dad's tripods and I have a webcam that you put on your computer and I have it sitting in this thing that is, it would hold your phone. It, you, you know, it's kind of like you would, um, you would push it apart and then put your phone inside. So I have the webcam has a little extended arm so you can adjust it on the back of your computer. I have it sitting inside of the phone holder on the tripod so you all can get this downward view. And I'm really proud of that. So I just thought it was cool. Anyway. Take that out, some little pieces there. All right, so this yarn is very tightly packed together. So we're gonna start taking it apart. This is kind of cool. <laughs> now, part of me wonders when they were packaging this, why didn't, okay, so let's see. I don't know the exact number of colors I have here, but when, it, when they were packaging this, instead of, you know, putting colors here and putting some colors here and here and here and here, why didn't you just put like, you know, this color would be in this set and that color would be in that set. And then let's see, so there's 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight little things, but there's 13 colors, so you could have easily said, you know, okay, two greens will go in one little circle, circle and two pinks will go in this circle and just keep going. Because then I wouldn't have to, I'm not saying it's not fun, because this is fun, but I'm just saying when they're packaging it, why wouldn't you just make the greens their own separate little circles of yarn and do it that way instead of putting a random bunch of colors <laughs> in a circle together? Just seems a little odd to me. Then again, I don't know how the machines work to do this, so maybe it's easier this way. I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought I had. Okay. Yarns. Is this yarn or is this string? It feels like yarn to me. I'm gonna call it yarn. And this may take a while, so you can go get food and drink and get your popcorn or whatever, hot wings. I'm vegan. Um, Get your pasta, there you go. <laughs> I went vegan in August. But I mean, if you're not vegan, I recommend getting hot wings because hot wings are awesome. <laughs> I think there are vegan wings, it's just that we haven't tried any other meats. I will be talking about random stuff since I'm doing this because this is kind of like a no-brainer work, so I'll be kind of rambling. But um, yeah, so I went vegan in August. We have some vegan chicken that's made from plants. It's actually really good, it's my favorite. And I'm having that tonight with something. It's gonna be awesome. And that company doesn't make any vegan wings. And I don't know if it's hard for them to, is this a different shade of green? Yes, that is a different shade, okay. So I don't know if it's hard for them to, because they're in strips right now. So I don't know if it's hard for them to 
make it in in a wing form or like a chicken breast mode mode form me form i don't know i should probably write them and ask because if they made the same recipe they have but made it in a let's put our colors over here i want you all to still be able to see the colors there we go so i don't know if it's hard for them to make it in a wing form but i would love if it was in a wing form because I would probably have it a lot more often. <laughs> I mean, I already try to have it as often as I can. But it'd be amazing. And for those who may be watching who are also vegan, if you want to know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Beyond the Meat. You can find it at Sprouts and Whole Foods. Uh, that, I'm not sure if, if there's a Whole Foods in uh, other states or other countries so basically if you have a really if you have a store that has all the kinds of healthy and meat alternatives and things like that it's most likely going to be there uh, the chicken is frozen they also make some crumbles i don't recommend the crumbles they're not that good um what else oh they also make some beef patties those are pretty good uh i like those but yeah so they make chicken and two kinds of beef and they do make a deli or a sandwich kind of meat haven't tried it yet it has mushrooms in it and my parents don't like mushrooms i've never had mushrooms but i don't have to have it <laughs> so but yeah, hey if you like mushrooms then you could try it and the chicken comes in three seasonings so there's southwestern seasoning which is our favorite grilled is the second favorite and we haven't tried the other one which is lightly seasoned but we like seasoning a lot and flavor so we probably won't even try the lightly seasoned because it probably won't have enough seasoning we've made all kinds of dishes so like i said i went vegan in august and we've tried some different dishes and it works really well oh then we tried um it's a company called field roast and they make sausage and they have a, a chorizo sausage which is really good it's good for making nachos we haven't tried it but i can see it in, for taco meat as well and it's not spicy at all, but it's still good. And it sticks you to the why. But yeah, I really enjoy it. And I also have an Italian one, which is it's okay to me. I don't if we never got it again, I wouldn't be upset about it. My brother likes it, so we'll probably get it. I mean we have some, but we'll probably get more of it. But the chorizo ones are pretty our favorite. Now, my only problem with it is, as you're cooking it, I don't like the smell. My mom doesn't have a problem with it. She doesn't even see what I'm talking about. But I really just don't like the smell of it. When when you open it and you start cutting it, it smells really good when you start cooking it. It's just the before process, before you cook it, that I'm not keen on. And yes, I am rambling. Because this process is going to take a little bit, so <laughs> maybe just holding my hands. And this goes, what color is this? Is that the same? It looks the same. This is gonna put my color sensing to the test. There's a game I used to play, and maybe I should get, get it back. It's called Blenduku, and all you do is try to blend colors from the darkest to brightest, or from this color to that color, you're really just blending color. So it's kind of like if you were, if you're coloring something, you want to blend it. Same thing, except you're not coloring anything. You're just taking my computer's going to sleep over here. Now I see chat. <laughs> so, you know, if you had different shades of red, then you have to arrange them in the darkest color to lightest color or that kind of way. And I actually really like the game. It's nice. It definitely tests your skills on blending colors which i think is very essential if you are a graphic designer or if you're just an artist or if you do anything with color really and they do have a colorblind mode which is cool i'm not colorblind but i for anyone who's watching who's maybe colorblind and it's blend dooku there's blend dooku one and blend dooku two i personally recommend number two because it has multiplayer and they have a few more different modes 
but that's just what I recommend. That's not the same color. Even on camera, you can tell it's not the same color. So, like some of these yarns seem really similar to each other, but I can definitely tell the difference. And I really enjoy doing that. I really enjoy telling the difference between colors. I think that's why I like the game so much. It's, it's kind of like spot the difference, but with colors. If that makes sense. But instead of getting a picture and trying to see what colors are, you're just arranging the colors, like I said. Uh, don't get green back here. Hello. Now remember, this is only the first row of yarn. We still have more to do. So like I said, really just go get some food or water. Or you can even chat to me in chat. I don't mind looking at chat while doing this. It won't distract me. Don't worry about it. And before someone comes in and distracts me. <laughs> yeah, this is only just the first one. I still have to arrange this. Not arrange this, but I mean open up another one. So let me, I think we got all the colors in the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and arrange this a certain way. Because I still want you all to be able to see the colors. I think I'll put the colors to the left. I think the left is good. So we'll do the pinks, we'll do that. Put the green up here. Uh, I think this green. And then we'll move this black like that. Okay. Oh, that's not right. That's right. Okay. Focus, camera. Focus. There we go. What are you doing, camera? Hey, Mom. How are you? I don't know why I said that. I know how you're doing. <laughs> so you're going to pop in every now and then. Yep, you're doing Cody's podcast. <laughs> I wish you the best, Mother. Okay, so I have my colors. Uh, let's see. This is the edge of the wall. Maybe I can move the camera just a little. This camera may shake a little, sorry. Cause you don't really need to see the edge of my wall over here. So now I can move the colors a little more. Now I'll try to keep them straight instead of going off sideways like I had. And I think the black's just gonna have to go over here. Just based on, we're probably gonna have a lot of certain colors and I definitely want to have space. I'm excited for this. Definitely excited. All right, so you all should be able to see the different colors now. Yeah. The worst case, I don't know if it's easier to have them going sideways or if it'd be better to turn them because I still need a space to open this up and I have no idea how big this is going to be. So, We'll see. I'll have to work it out. And so these already have like a small tear in them, so you can just open these up easily. Put that in the trash. Now it's in focus. You're going, you're going to have so much fun. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, this seems like a lot of fun. I mean, I'm just having fun arranging the colors first of all. You know me. I love organizing. So when it says you have to organize colors, I'm like, bring it on. This is my area of expertise. <laughs> now, what was I talking about before I got distracted? <laughs> yeah, cause this is gonna take a while. So if you have any questions, not related to latch hook, cause I can't answer those since this is my first time doing latch hook. But if you have any questions about something else I've done in the past, like 3D, which I will continue to do uh, soon, uh, 3D or programming, or you want to talk about vegan stuff, you know, brands and stuff, I'm all for it. Since, like I said, this is going to take a while, so the first part of the stream is just going to be me organizing color. And if you see a color at a place, let me know. The 
feel like it would be the time would be better spent asking, uh, answering your questions, or just chatting with you all instead of just rambling to myself. <laughs> Mm, let's see, topic for discussion. I think I'm just gonna, just kind of, this is probably a bad idea. Oh, uh, we have a little piece of, we got a little baby piece <laughs> that didn't get to make it. Sorry, but in the trash you go. <laughs> now the roll up the sleeves again. <laughs> so, See, we have some string that's kind of like short. So that one I definitely had to throw out because I wouldn't have been able to do anything with it. This one I'll keep off to the side because it's shorter than normal and I don't necessarily know if it'll work better. There we go. Yeah, this was maybe a bad idea. <laughs> Nope, that's a different shade. That's a different shade. See, if I had known, it, it would have told me to separate it. Now, granted, I could have read it, but since I knew we didn't have the kit, I was like, well, there's no point in me reading directions. If I had known, I probably would have separated this beforehand, but I didn't, so... And I don't want to stop the stream. I'd rather just keep it going. And we can just chat about stuff. Because chatting is amazing. It can be nerve wracking sometimes, but it's amazing. I really want to talk about octopuses, but since I usually don't look at octopuses, and I now totally will, I don't know any facts about octopuses. <laughs> mm, over here. But hey, if any of you have any facts about octopuses, I would love to hear them. I'm kind of like in an octopus frenzy mode right now because of this hoodie. I'm definitely going to be making a lot of art with octopuses for like the next couple days. It's just going to be like an octopus thing for a while. People are going to go look at my Twitter and be like, why is everything right now all about octopuses? And I'm like, have you not seen this hoodie? This is why. Look at the hoodie and then ask your question again. <laughs> Octopuses are cool though. With the small pictures I've seen, they are really cool. I want to know more about them. Okay, so we need to separate this. I need to figure out, I think I need to figure out right now, a better way of having these colors arranged. Because obviously I still want you all to see the, the colors that I'm using, but I have a small workspace. Let's see. And we're still not done. This is only the second one. I still have... Six more to go, so this is gonna be a lot. So let's try to arrange this a certain way. Okay, you all can see that color. You cannot see that color, so I had to move it, that's right. Move the green, move the green. Oh, you know what? Let's try to open this. I gotta say I wait, but worst case scenario, I have the colors up here instead of on the side of me, which may work better. Okay, so this won't break, I believe. Please don't break. That'd be so sad. Ooh. How are you? Oh, like this. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be really big. Oh my god. I know you can't see anything. It's because I'm opening. Ah, no.
Part of me wonders if I should have something sitting on top of this to flatten it out. I don't know. <sighs> and then open it again. Okay, so this is gonna be really big. Oh, I have it upside down. That explains it. I was like, why does this look weird? Okay. This is gonna be big. So it will be best to have the colors above. So do I have anything big to put on top of this? Cause I need to flatten it out. <laughs> I really need to flatten this out. Oh, I have it sideways as well, okay. I don't think I have anything to put on this. I need a box. Mom, if you're listening, you know that green box me and Kenny were using for the drones? Can you bring that up here, please? I need to flatten this out. I don't know if you can see how crinkly this is. Oh, it's so cool you can see the pattern if I hold it far away, nice. But yeah, I need that box so I can put on top of this to flatten this out while I'm arranging the colors. And by the time I finish arranging the colors, this should be done. And I know Cody's not on the stream, he's never on my streams. Well, he's never listening to my streams, he always pops in. I could yell and call for him, but I don't wanna do that. But I definitely need to flatten this out. Gowdy! Gowdy! Or you can Skype him on to get the box, either way. I just need someone to get me the box. Because I don't have a box. I don't have a big enough box, I should say. Gowdy! My door is closed. His door is possibly, possibly closed. He may not hear me. You can see me. This is actually a lot bigger than I expected. I need that green box me and Kyra were using yesterday for the drones. Because you can see this thing is crinkled. That's upside down. So because it was folded, so I want to put the box on top to flatten it out while I'm doing the colors. Because right now I'm not sure how I can latch hook this when it's all bent, you see? So. Can you give me the box? Um. The, the box we were using yesterday for the drones. Oh yeah, what? I need to flatten this out. Yeah, I, I, I want to put the box on top. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'll close my door though. He is coming, I just skyped him. Yeah, I figured you just skyped him because he came in and he, he didn't hear me calling him. So, yeah. This is pretty cool though. It's going to be really pretty. And of course, I would say you could hand stitch it to a pillow. Yes, it needs to be straight. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it needed to be straight. I'm like, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to latch hook this when it's all bent and stuff? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought though. So Yep, mommy comes through. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Yeah, I know, it's so big. And it says you can, you can hand stitch it to a pillow or make it hang on the wall. I would probably make it hang on the wall somewhere. This is too beautiful and hummingbirds are, hummingbirds are amazing. So I'm gonna be down here for a second so I can put the box on top and hopefully if I have to leave the room for some reason, I will not trip over it. Give me a box. This box, mm, I need to flip it. This box may not be big enough. Do we have another one? Oh, I know. I know I can do. Oh, wrong way. Just gonna get my trash can. And put my trash can on. So this can hold it. Hopefully that works. 
Hopefully this will be straight enough. You, you're welcome. You will be competing with a Grammy now in art. Yes, I will. Well, arts and crafts anyway. Yeah, hopefully that works. I don't think I, oh, I think we have her. Give me a second. Technical difficulties, but it's fine. Gonna put this up here. That should work. This is, oh yeah, this is long enough. Here we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> So now I have stuff sitting on top of my picture. So we're gonna get back to separating this. And when I'm done, hopefully it should be ready. Now what we were doing before was arranging the colors differently. So I need to move my latch hook tool for a second. Move these. Just hit the camera, that's good. <laughs> it's, it's not good, I'm kidding. Uh, let's see. And I can't move the camera back further, which would help if I could, I mean, I can move my table forward, but I really don't wanna do that. <laughs> Let's not move my table. Um, oh, you know what, here's, here's, there you go. I'm gonna be rearranging the camera because I need more space on my desk. Because the camera can always come forward more. So the camera's gonna shake a little, look away if you get motion sick easily. You will see me a little bit. That's okay. What's up? I didn't call you. That's a long scratching. Again? Yeah. Remember, I already found something for the uh, the box isn't wide enough, so I found something else. So I'm oh, good. Okay. I'm good. Okay. So now I can move this back. That's not far enough. Sorry for the shakiness, just moving this. Still, really? Let's just do this. Now's it hitting, oh, that's hitting that, okay. Okay, so now I need to fix, fix the angle. <laughs> And I think that's good. So now I can pretty much see the whole table, which is good. So now it means I have more space, which is what I needed. All right, so need to move the colors again to about there. And we're actually gonna so you can just see like the basic part of the color. Cause I really need the space. I'm not moving to the floor. So many projects this year I've had to move to the floor cause they were too big <laughs> for my desk. And I refuse to move to the floor again. Okay. Now I'm going to be moving this up here. Please don't fall down my desk. Not back there. Moving that and that, that and that and that. Once this moves, hopefully this will be enough space. Worst case scenario, you guys just won't be able to see the colors. I don't know. I wish, do I have another way to hold the colors? I don't know if I do. I'll figure it out once I get all the color separated. I don't know how much space I need. Because at the moment, I have no idea how much space I'll actually need. I mean, that thing is really big. And, oh, worst case scenario, I just make the stand go up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Because right now I have it on the, I have the tripod on the lowest, not, not setting, but height, lowest height it's at right now. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to open my blinds more again. But I just make it taller so you can see more of my desk. So I have more room. I need a bigger desk. I 
think it's just easier to separate it here and then move it into its own pile later. And I'll try to go a little faster. Well, not too fast. I do need that to straighten out. So I guess I'll just keep going at my regular pace. But hey, we can chat. We can chat about stuff. Science, arts and crafts, whatever. Okay, so there's a lot of green and pink is what I'm seeing. Part of me wonders if I can put a rubber, ba rubber band around this loose leaf and then just pull the thread out as I need it. That would definitely help because this is looking like a lot and I may have to change some stuff. I am going to go ahead and start moving some stuff right now. Okay, so I have scissors here. Apparently don't need scissors. Until I just hit my desk. It's fine. Move this. So I'm moving stuff in preparation that I will have to move the tripod up. Because most likely I will have to do that. My workspace is such a mess. <laughs> well, it's just the cords, really. Okay, that all the stuff is out of the way now. So if it does come down to it, I do have the space to move my colors. And you can still see me, which is good. Uh, I may turn this just a little more. There we go. Okay. Sorry there's been a lot of adjusting. I've never recorded from this angle before. So, you know, technical difficulties. The more I do this, the more I'll figure I'll get used to the angle I need. But right now, I have no idea because I've never done it before, like I said. So. Black, pink, and pink. We still have so many more to go. Uh, and I'll just do that. That's, that's fine. I am really excited though. You may not see it in my face or hear it in my voice, but I am really excited. To me, it kind of, it kind of seems like pixel art, but it's not pixels per se, it's, it's yarn. But still kind of like pixel art, and I'm doing it in real life, which is actually pretty cool. And pixel art is like voxel art. So, pixel art is the cubes, by the way. It's the cubes that make up any screen or any device you have, um, but they're really small. So when we when you make pixel art, you're making the pixels bigger, but it's still just square. So kind of like Minecraft, but flat and not 3D. Voxel art is pixel art, but it's 3D. So it's three dimensional cubes. And I really do like voxel art. I do a lot of voxel art right now. Okay. So there we 
use that. These are all different shades. That's different. Hold it. You're different. They're all the same. It's the same. Same. Okay, that's all been separated. I really think I should plug in a little van for this stuff. At the same time, I'm really not sure. I can get up, go to sleep. Ow. <laughs> there we go. Part of which is I can play music right now, but at the same time, this is going on YouTube and I can take down copyright. So, no music.
Yeah, rubber band would definitely be good. We are on the, I don't even know, we had eight. So, wait, where is it? Yeah, we had eight. So we are on our fifth one, and there's four more left. No, we're on our fourth one, sorry. Fourth one. Fourth one, we got four more to go. There's a lot of yarn here. <laughs> The screen is about to like fall off the edge. And I really don't want that to happen.
for those who may be watching and this is not going fast enough for you don't worry this is going to be on youtube so when it's on youtube up to the end of the stream you can always just skip ahead plus i plan to make this a time lapse so there won't be any music or anything unless i find some free music on youtube i could but i'm always afraid to put any kind of music in my videos but either way so i'm going to put it on youtube even on YouTube right now, so, so somebody can go watch on YouTube. But what I plan to do is you're going to have a live stream version, but then you're also going to have a version where you could watch the time lapse version. So you don't have to hear me talking or anything or respond to questions. You can just watch it all in fast mode. So, yeah. Back to not talking. <laughs> yeah, sorry for being silent. I'm just doing this there's not much to talk uh, my mom's in chat but she's also working so plus there's nothing for me to talk about with her so you know I'm just sitting in silence but if any of you want to talk then you can you don't have to if you don't want to I'm just saying if you do want to you can I'm not too occupied with this to where I can't talk and I enjoy company occasionally <laughs> Yeah, but if any of you feel like you want to talk about something, science, whether it be coding, 3D art, chemistry, whatever, facts about octopuses, I'm waiting for that, then yeah, feel free. I love talking with my viewers. And even if you are shy or introverted or socially awkward, it's okay. I'm also an introvert and I can be a little weird when trying to socialize. So it's okay. We can we can be socially awkward and introverted together. <laughs> so when me and my brother were younger, I just, this is a story. Some of these stories you may see my channel again because I'm thinking about maybe doing animated stories. I know a lot of people do that right now, but my stories different from everyone. So, but anyway, so we were cleaning out the house recently. Uh, like sometime last month and me and my brother used to have tents now we've never gone camping before but these were yes what are you doing i'm separating the yarn oh what are you doing cleaning? working on stuff are you cleaning no oh, I'm just, just working on stuff i'm disappointed this is my brother you can't see him but it's okay you can't see no no ah your chin is sharp. Close my door. I was trying to tell a story, okay. <laughs> no. Anyway, so we never went, we've never gone camping before. I mean, we've gone outside, obviously, but we've never gone camping. So, but we have these tents, right? I had a tent, he had a tent. We are twins, and, I mean, just because you're twins doesn't mean this, but we did have double of pretty much everything. Sometimes, like, we would have the same toy, but just different color. So we had these tents though. And we've not used these tents in where we used to just, we used to go camping inside. We would have downstairs, we would camp downstairs, we'd sleep downstairs in our sleeping bags, the pillow on the hard floor. It was carpet granite, but you know, it's still hard floor. And we stayed down there for a couple of days. We'd put on, um, now this is not camping-esque obviously, but we put in a DVD and the TV and watch that in our tents, uh, eat our, like snacks and whatever. You know, it was pretty much camping, just no fire, no bugs, um, no plants, and we had TV. <laughs> but still, it was fun. So we were cleaning recently, and like, yeah, we get rid of the tents, you know. But mom said, okay, so we're gonna take a picture of it and put it on our local boards for someone to get, you know. It was November, I believe, so it's perfect time to get your Christmas shopping done and stuff. So, we had, but we had to put the tent back up because it was unfolded. So we were just like, Okay, so me and my brother are struggling to get this tent up. I don't know how we did it when we were younger, because for the life of me, I could not remember how we did it. We struggled. We did not get it up. There was problems. And my mom came back. She's like, oh, so how's it going? I said, you had two nerds try to pinch, pitch a tent. How do you think it's going? And if you don't get why I'm saying that, because we're both nerds, okay, me and my brother. We, really, we don't go outside too much. I mean, we do go outside for vitamin D and everything. But we don't do outdoor sports, or we, we don't go outside as much as we used to. And like I said, we're nerds. 
Whatever field of interest we have, we're complete nerds in it. He loves cars, I love science and art. Nerds in it. When we just stay on the computer, we're techies and stuff. So I was like, you had nerds basically try to pitch a tent, and a tent is usually an outside thing, and we haven't done it in ages. So, and she laughed at that, because I was just like, really, Mom? We're nerds. What did you expect of us? I was like, are you serious? So, I thought it was kind of funny, though. Just just that whole nerd trying to pitch a tent thing. I feel like it should be a meme. <laughs> I should come make that a meme. I have a lot of yarn, and I know I'm not having space here, so I will have to raise this, definitely. I'm going to raise my blinds again. Can we get the scenes out the window? Oh. <laughs> Cause like, uh, what is that girl doing with the camera in the window? And my, is it a microphone in the window? What is she doing? I was like, I'm streaming for the YouTubes. What do you think I'm doing? I'm doing art. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't even know if people can actually see me. They may. I don't really care. If they see me, so what? I mean, it's not like you can't go see me on the internet or anything. Like you type in Erica Wagner, hello. <laughs> My stuff comes up, my merch, my YouTube, several videos, blah, blah. I think, it might, you know, it might be Science Her Way if you type that in Google. I don't know, it's, it's one of the two. I just forget which right now. Next one. Oh wow, I was already on the fifth one without even knowing it. We only have two left. This, this, we're doing this one right now and we got two left. Almost there, people. And I think that is flattening out. Oh, there's a piece of string that fell. <laughs> got it. Now, granted, I probably could just push the string through. Yeah, I need to tear this stuff, but tearing's fun. So I'm tearing this. Because I can. It's fun, and it's sticking to me. Why have you done this? There we go. I need to roll up my sleeves again. How, much, how long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for an hour already, and I haven't even started yet. No. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking forever. There is a lot of yarn here. This is actually a bigger project than I anticipated. Next time we do a electric tip kit, I'll probably do this off stream. I'll separate the colors beforehand instead of doing it on stream. I didn't know it was going to tell me to separate the colors. I really didn't. I probably could have read it in, in preparation, but since I knew I didn't have the hook, it didn't really matter whatever I read because I couldn't do it. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just wait till next, next when we actually get it. So, but hey, now I know. So, yeah, let me know though. Next time I do a latch hook kit, is it okay if I stream me separating the colors? Because technically I could do a QA and a while I'm doing this. Or would you rather I do it off stream so we can just get right into the latch hooking, if that's what you would call it. Let me know. Even if it's past stream and I'm not live anymore, in the comments, let me know if, you, if it's okay if I separate the colors on stream and you guys can talk to me and other stuff. Or would you rather I do it off stream? Let me know in the comments below. I almost push all the thread down there. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about getting a rubber band. Ah, one color did fall. No, I'll get it in a second. If I don't get it, please remind me because I probably will forget, but I don't want to set this down because it may break. It's okay if it breaks technically, but I don't want it to. That's is still gonna fall. I may, I might need rubber bands, and I would just do it loosely, just to keep them all together. You know, I don't know. Uh, Mom, if you're watching, Skype Cody again. Oh, he's not. He's not. He's not his computer. Ugh. I need rubber bands. I think that might be a good way of doing it because I could just pull the string independently instead of pulling all of them at once. Plus, it would keep them a lot more organized instead of falling everywhere. 
So if you can somehow signal Cody to please get the rubber bands from your desk. Cause I think that would be that would, that's a good way to do it. Cause this need this is just chaos right now, okay. Hang on, let's see, because he's over here, so. Okay, yeah, bring it up. Never mind. <laughs> I just started knocking. Yeah, please bring it up though. I do need it. And not just a few, just, just bring the whole bag of rubber bands. Yep, yeah, mom's bring, bringing me some rubber bands. Oh, that was me, I was gonna say, I'm gonna need to get some rubber bands. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't think she'd respond that fast, and then she was like, oh, I'll bring it up. I was like, oh, I just started knocking, so. Rip. I think she has to find the rubber bands. I try to find the rubber bands. I thought they were in your office. Who knew? Yeah, I seriously thought the rubber bands were in your office. Cause it sounds like she's walking around to try to find them. I don't know, I can't see where she is, obviously, but. She may have found them. Is this pink? That is pink. These are questioning colors. <laughs> Ooh, what happened with this? Look at this one. What is up with that? Okay. You, you messed up. This is how they were in the rubber band. I said to separate them. It literally told me in the instructions to separate them. I'm just telling you. Wait, where's the bag? I don't know where the bag is. That's why I just told Cody. I said, I don't even know where the bag is. We had a ton. Yeah, I know, because it's two's not going to cut it, but. That's the story. I need more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't understand why they're there, but. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about earlier. If you're just joining now, you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so you see this, this is my hand right here. Bunch of colors, right? They come like this. They all come jumbled up like this. And I'm sorry about that horrible lighting. I have the window open right now because of how my setup is. So let's push them back. Okay, anyway, that's really horrible. Anyway, so they come in like this. And what I was saying was, if, you have, if you're having me separate the colors, why not? We make 18 of these balls of yarn that I'm taking apart right now in my hand. Why not have it, you know, one of these is one color, the other one is the other color. Now, obviously there's 13 colors, so there's eight of these. So some colors would have to go with the, you know, some colors might be like two colors per wrapping right now. Cause I don't want to do is just, you know, take it and just Pick one. Oh, no, actually, they're kind of wrapped uh, tightly together. But still, the point is, why would you make the colors like this instead of just having, you know, a couple of greens in here, a couple of pinks in here, a couple of black and whites in here, and blah, blah. No, 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 no. We should make them all separated like this. Why? Why would you do this? Because if they weren't like that, I would have left them in there. I would have, but I can't, so... Instead, here we are separating them. And this almost makes a mess because 
you can see I have like all this yarn over here and I'm not sure if I have enough space to actually do what I need to do that's why I need the rubber pants yeah I just, why, why would you do it like this we'll just leave it there just why and yes I'm questioning a person's methods why would you do it like this it's just more tedious yeah, an hour and I've, I've spent an hour just separating this. Oh, goodness. Oh, is it in the thing over there? Let me pull it down. I look there and see. Oh. these okay we only have two left but now that I'm done with that one there's one that fell so I'm gonna grab it okay my hair is in the way why hair why would you do this there we go so we only have two left and then we're gonna figure out our rubber band situation right now we have five I need Eight more, I think. Eight more. <laughs> Eight more rubber bands. Good grief. Almost there, though. Maybe just 30 more minutes. <laughs> no! <laughs> Exploded. <clears throat> so I squeezed it too hard. It was just like, the pressure can't handle, must explode. And it did. Exploding, it did. And that was exactly what I didn't want to happen. Everyone's like, mm, no, I don't explode. Let's go ahead and just explode. Everyone ready? I've never seen more yarn in my house in my life. I've seen all yarn. I mean, we went to Hobby Lobby today to get my latch hook. I saw a lot of yarn there, but not in my house. I've never seen a lot of yarn. Because we usually don't do arts and crafts like that. Or craft anything. I'm the one who's doing arts and crafts, really. Yeah, next time I do a latch hook kit, it says separate them. I won't. I would just leave them in their little containers and pick up the colors as I need. Because that's saved so much more space than what I have right now. Ugh. And some of you might be thinking, oh, why don't you just bundle up and put it back in the, in the uh, little wrappers? I tore them up, it's not gonna work. I thought about just pushing them and sliding them out, but I was like, oh no, tearing is more fun. Plus the first one I tore it, I didn't even think to you know push it out, so that wouldn't have worked anyway. Let's see. Uh. Well, you live and you learn. So I know for next time, never take them out. Leave them the way it is. Things tells you to separate them, forget it. Just forget it, do not separate. And this is my advice to anyone who has latch hook kit. Now, I don't know if latch hook kits are different uh, by the brand. If they actually put their yarn, you know, gr you know, grids in a separate container and stuff like that, I have no idea if they do or not. But if you get a latch hook kit, same brand or not, and it comes in like mine, in these wrapped up like this don't separate them unless you have a really big workspace and even if you do I still don't recommend it oh there we go thank you yay for <laughs> thanks mom <laughs> yay <laughs> now I can organize them but yeah, my advice, definitely, do, even if you do a big workspace, you have all the time in the world, don't. It's not worth it. I mean, it's, it's fun if you separate the colors and everything, and it is definitely easier to find the colors and everything, but I still don't recommend it. Because it just makes, it's just, it takes up more space when they get unbundled. I dropped straight, here we go. It just takes up so much space. It takes you a lot more time. I could have been latch hooking right now. Yeah. 
But if there are latch hook kits that do have the colors arranged like I'm saying, please let me know and what brand that is and what store I can find it at. On the bright side though, the thing should be un uh, should be straightened by now. so much of it. <laughs> I was gonna say, and we're done, but we're not. There's one more. I thought we were done. I got, I was about to get so excited, but like, yes, we're finally done. We can move on. Now. No. And just this once, I'm gonna push it out. It's still not as fun as tearing it, but oh well. <laughs> No. This is the most exciting thing ever. <sighs> but hey, we have rubber bands, so I can organize this even more. And I do have a bag, so worst case scenario, we just put it in the bag. Now the sad thing is, it's gonna be uneven because you see how they're all standing up so nice and neatly. When I get this stuff, they won't all stand up so neatly. <laughs> It's gonna be all uneven. <laughs> it's gonna be awful. But like I've said, at least I know for next time. Is this black? This is black. That's black. We have so much green and pink. My goodness. Is that gonna be your sleep? No, it's not. It's not sleep. Okay.
really didn't look like this much yarn when they were all wrapped up. It really didn't. There's a lot more than I thought there was. And hopefully we use up every single piece and I'm not gonna have leftovers. If I have leftovers, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if they make uh, blank pieces without a picture on them, if that makes sense. Because they do, if I have leftovers, we may, we may not have leftovers, I don't know. If we do though, I'll have to get, because <laughs> the thing is, this yarn is too small to crochet with. And by small, I mean, I mean it's short. It's too short for me to actually crochet with. Which I have been practicing, by the way. It's going great. I'm really enjoying it. I've only learned how to do a ch chain and a single crochet. I've not learned anything else at the moment. I've been having a lot of fun just doing uh, a chain and single crochet at the moment. But it is going along well. I will learn how to do the other parts, of course. Because there's apparently a lot, a lot of different ones. Uh oh. Okay, so this one's messed up. So I do have like a little messed up pile over here. I'm just gonna leave off to the side. Hopefully that won't interfere with, you know, I get so close to the end and, oh, you need two more of this color. And then <laughs> I don't have those colors. I'll be so sad if that happens. It may not. We're done. Yeah, <laughs> I can go cry now. Okay, so we're gonna move these off to the side. These seem a little hard. So let's just start rubbing this stuff. I'm gonna work from this side first. We're gonna grab all this. This is almost too big for me to hold. Okay. How am I supposed to do this? I can't even wrap my fingers around this. What? What is this? I know what it is. It's yarn. Hush face. <laughs> and then do it properly. Yay! <laughs> if I keep doing this wrong, how do you do this? You think putting on a rubber band wouldn't be so difficult. Oh, but how wrong I am. And does that, has that, do I have, I don't. Have, I, no, yes, no. No. <laughs> So now I have to get these in order. That's great. Sorry this is taking so long and nothing's happening, but uh, I couldn't have known ahead of time. I really couldn't have. There, there was really no way for me to know that this was gonna happen. I thought it was just gonna be simple. I just put a rubber band around it, but no. Of course not, why would it be easy? <laughs> okay. This is all pretty straight, just grab this, line it up.
it doesn't work. Hopefully that's better. Don't have high hopes, but okay. This looks promising. Have I done it? Basically. <laughs> Oh, that is such a mess. Are you kidding me? Now the good thing is... That it should be really easy to just pull one out. That's pretty messy, but it's alright. I'm gonna move it off to the side and on to the next one. I'm gonna start with the smaller ones first. The smaller ones will be so much easier. They better be at least. <laughs> Let's do white next. I know I said I'd do the small ones, but I'm kind of working my way up. Plus, the higher I go for this way, the more yarn there is. So, this flake is kind of better. This rope is tight. There we go. Yeah, so those who have been here for the complete hour, and you're still here, thank you. I appreciate that. And welcome. And if you're thinking about doing a latch hook kit, and you get one, do not separate the colors. Do not separate the colors. Even the instructions tell you to do not separate the colors. Unless you just want to, but you know, if you want to, then go ahead. But if you're wondering what's the best, what's, you know, if I, I really just want to jump into it, 
Now, I don't have really a big workspace or anything. If I do, I just wanna jump into it and whatever. Don't do it. <laughs> do not submit the coding unless you just really want to. If you really want to, then go for it. I won't stop you. Plus, it's your time. So I'm just saying, you know, for people who maybe want to get into it, I haven't done it yet, but I'm just saying, you know, for time-wise, I don't recommend separating your colors. Unless it helps you anything, but really, I really don't recommend this. Because I've been doing this for an hour and almost 30 minutes here. And I just separate colors. And I'm just now putting the colors in the bands. So just think about that when you're thinking, hmm, separate my colors might be a good idea. Just refer back to this video. And then ask yourself again, do you really want to separate your colors? Do you really? And I do have a little bag. I think I'm just gonna put the yarn in a bag so it's not all over my desk or anything. So I can just get into latch hooking. Like I said, on the bright side though, it should really be straight. Now it's taking me an hour and 30 minutes, so hopefully it'll be straightened out. If not, we'll have to wait. I may go get lunch, it depends. The first hour of the stream was literally me separating colors. <laughs> Isn't that great? asks how is it coming now oh good you know I'm rubber banding the yarn right now I still have six colors to rubber band so I haven't even started yet but I'm done separating them that's a thing so yeah only took me an hour and 30 minutes so It'll be worth it though. It'll be worth it. Just trying to make sure. I did what I was about to say. I'm trying to make sure I don't like fold over some yarn by making the rubber band go way over it. And I've done exactly that. Now, does, has any more, more fallen? No. Mm -hmm. Applause for organization. I know, right? Applause for organization and patience. This does take a lot of patience, which I do have. But hurry. <laughs> patience is a really good thing to have in not just art, but for anything. And I feel like when you're when you're doing certain kinds of art, you, it really tests your patience, which is a good thing. You should always have patience for a lot of things. And even though I'm saying, you know, this is taking a long time and everything, it's only because I'm excited and I really want to start latch hooking. But patience is important. And it's good to have patience. And like I said, not just for arts and crafts or 3D art, but for really everything programming, science experiments, when you're driving in traffic. Because remember, you always have time. Nothing is ever so, so important to where you have to rush things or if you're in traffic, cause a wreck because you're trying to go somewhere. Nothing's ever that important. You always have time, safety first, and you always have patience. You should always, always have patience. It's, it's an important thing to have. More people need to have patience. Patient people, yeah, patient people win. That's what my mom just said. Patient people win, and they do. 
No, it fell over. No. Yeah, patient people do win. For example, sponsorship. You have to be patient for sponsors. You have to be patient for getting items you may need. Yes? If you are in a pinch, or patient is, isn't winning, just take it as a lesson to plan better for next time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, patience is really the key. You have to be patient for a lot of things in life. Pretty much everything, really. All right, we're starting to get to the big colors to where I'm questioning, can I fit it all in my hand? I have small hands, I think, anyway. And I'm like, can I really fit all of this in my hand? So I'm thinking to myself, I'm looking at it and thinking to myself, no. <laughs> but I'm trying, and that's what matters. I'm trying. Trying my hardest. No. <laughs> My hands aren't big enough. <laughs> no, don't do that. No, no, <laughs> no. Raband, you're messing up my yarn. What are you doing? Stop. I'm gonna forever be finding like small little yarn in my clothes probably. <laughs> Don't you dare, don't you dare, rubber band, you did it, no. Rubber band. That's definitely not tight enough, and it's about to come off, no. Why? <laughs> okay, I have a bunch that didn't make it, but it's fine, because I can just put it back in. I hope you can't hear that. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about my stomach. <laughs> I hope you cannot hear my stomach right now. <laughs> this really did not go well. I'm definitely just gonna have to pull it and be very gentle with it so that rubber band doesn't come off. Uh, Okay, that's done poorly, but it's done. <laughs> Part of me thinks there's probably loose strands in here that's that's only being held together because it's being squished. It's not even technically wrapped around properly. It's probably very true, but it's it's okay. Look at that! Look at that! It's so bad. I wish I could close my blinds because lights coming in here and it's ruining my lighting, but I really can't. Like I said, I'm not moving my desk back. That's that's a horrible idea. Kind of, maybe. I really just don't want to move my desk back. It helped, but I really don't want to. Because I don't want anything falling behind my desk. That didn't really work, but uh, 
No, I didn't hear it. <laughs> it's steadily growling my stomach. I'm like, why are you doing this to me? It's like, feed me, feed me. I'm like, no, I took. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that, that hungry. My stomach doesn't talk to me that often, which you could argue that, yeah, it's very hungry, but. Okay, this really didn't work. If you really have to eat, I definitely recommend you go eat. It's just that, you know, it wasn't too long ago I ate something, so I don't know why it's talking so much. Okay, we're getting there, people. We are getting there. That's not... That's better. I used a lot of yellow rubber bands for this. Yellow's not even my favorite color anymore. It used to be, but it's not anymore. Okay, now these last two colors aren't going to be that fun for wrapping. Just because there's a lot. My mom says because I need lunch. Well, I mean, I guess I do eat around this time. But what time did I eat my muffin? About 11 something. So, you know, I usually eat, it's about to be two o'clock. I do eat lunch around this time. And the bad thing is I spent almost two hours strictly on colors. I have not even done a latch hook kit. So, I don't know. And it's fair, I usually don't start streaming now because I like to eat breakfast and then eat lunch. I can just go full force and I have to stop and eat. <laughs> That's right, I usually don't stream early because of that exact reason. If I ever need food, I don't like to stop my stream. I can just go full, full, uh, full force all at once. I'm not one to, you know. And I'm not saying to do this because it's different for every person, but um, usually I just stream for several hours straight. And sometimes that's not healthy for certain people. Like for me, I'm used to it, so it's fine for me. But if you're just starting out, I don't recommend doing that because if you're not used to going that long with talking and not eating, always drink water on stream. It's just that you can eat on stream. It's just, I don't, I personally do not like to eat on stream. If I'm watching you and you eat on stream, that's fine, I understand. It's just that I personally, for me, I don't like eating on stream. Plus, for what I'm doing, I wouldn't eat on stream <laughs> just because of what this is, and I have like no room on my desk. But yeah, it's steadily going. So, worst case scenario, this is part one. I'll relabel this stuff later because right now it's going to say the same thing. But once I finish doing this, I'll probably go get lunch so my stomach can stop talking to me. And is that the same color? I don't think I missed colors again. I did. Black. So once we finish this, I will probably stop and get something to eat. So this is part one where you just saw me do colors. Isn't that exciting? And after that, come back and we'll actually start doing latch hook stuff. Wasn't trying to do that, but my stomach is talking to me this, this much and it never talks to me when I'm hungry, then I probably need to get food. So, you know, your health comes first. I am really excited and, may, and even though I may not want to stop streaming, I should because it's the right thing to do. You have to take care of yourself first. You know, yes, I'm excited to do latch hook. Yes, it's gonna be amazing. But it's not it's not worth passing out because I didn't eat. It's not worth that, right? It's not. Not right, I'm gonna say okay. <laughs> but it's still not. Never do that. If you need food, you go get food. I don't care what you're doing. If you feel like you need food, and it, it, me keep, it means keeping you safe and keeping you from passing out because you didn't get food, then by all means, go get food. You have to take care of yourself first, always. All right, 
one more color. This looks kind of silly. I mean, it feels really soft, but it looks kind of funny. All right, here's one of the biggest colors. Yay. If you're wondering why I'm doing this right here, it's so the colors can be semi-straight when I put them in the rubber band and I don't have so many falling out. Let's try to keep them straight. I just ruined it. Good job, me. Good job. Applaud, applaud. <laughs> I cannot fit this all in my hand. My hand is not that big. I can just barely get my thumb around it. Ugh. Okay, I do have some falling out, but I'd rather have some falling out than the whole thing not working. So I'm okay with this. No, it did exactly what I said. I didn't want it to. D <sighs> Why have you done this? <laughs> This is such a mess now. It was such in a nice meat pile when I was separating them, and once it exploded, everything is just like, eh, we're all messy now, eh, we don't care. <laughs> we like it this way better. <laughs> I'm like, why did you do this? <sighs> okay, we're almost done though. As soon as we get these these pieces of yarn to get your mess together. Then I can stop the stream, go get lunch, and be back at it, and do some latch hooking. Okay, let's try this again. I'm not trying to separate the colors. I want I want them to be their own piles, not having separate piles. That's why you, you know, so I can see some of you being like, why would you just separate them into their own separate little things? It'd be so much easier. You're right, it would, but that's not how I want to do it. <laughs> so. We're doing it this way. <laughs> I rather have them all like this. This is also not gonna work. I'm looking at it, it's not working. I'm looking at it. And I'm shaking my head no, turn away. Please don't, please don't, please don't. So this really did not work. I think it's seriously about to explode again. And I'm just praying it does not. I'm just like, don't do this to me. <laughs> not again. Don't explode. There's a lot that was loose here. shake them and come out all oh, those ones yeah oh uh, there's a lot of loose ones here there's so many loose 
loose ones because I did this so poorly. Once I exploded, that was just pretty much it. So y'all remember when I said I'm not going to put them all in their separate things? I am. Because I'm, I'm done with this separating color. Really thing. You're making me really. I'm just ready to start about checking. And lunch. I'm ready for lunch. Definitely should have just left them where they were. That is done. I am done with, with that. Why am I so dark? Focus on my camera. Focus. All right. That stuff is done. This lighting is horrible. So worst case scenario, I'll have to move my desk.
because the sun's coming through and someone wants to be in the stream and I want to block the sun from the stream because you're lying on my desk in horrible ways. <sighs> right, so when I come back, we'll be gonna, we're gonna be doing lap chug kit. I'm gonna go eat something because I need food. And of course, now I'm saying, I'm going food. My stomach has stopped talking to me. Shameful. Anyway, so I'll get my setup fixed a little bit so you all can see more of what I'm doing. Uh, and I don't have to worry so much about keeping the colors on the table. I'm still to keep on the table where you can see them, but I'll find a different way to do it. So yes, everything will be set up and fixed when I come back. I'm gonna go to food. This is part one of our latch hook kit adventure. This is almost two hours long of just colors. So I will see you all in a bit. I'm gonna fix everything now because I'm not gonna, I have nowhere to like place my food and the cookie at the same time. I'm not staining my yarn. I'm eating something, it will stain the yarn. Not doing that. I spent almost two hours getting yarn done. I'm not staining it now. So I will see you all. Give me about 30 minutes or an hour. After that, we'll come back and I will continue to stream. And we're gonna be doing some latch hook kits. And remember, we are making a hummingbird. So yes, I'm definitely gonna get this lighting fixed and everything, it's, it's awful. All right, so. I will see you all in a bit. Thank you for coming. Come in 30 minutes to an hour. Just come in an hour. That should be a safe bet. So come in an hour and we'll continue and we will actually start doing our latch hook kit. So the first part one was doing the colors. Part two, we should be just doing it before I finish it. But yes, so I'll see you all in an hour. Bye.